Updates, viewers. Now we are switching gears to something coming up pretty soon, something that's on the annual calendar every year here in Tobago. And I'm talking about the Mount Pleasant Easter Monday sports, and that's happening on Family Day of Crop. And of course, on Easter Monday, where we get to see some good racing and so on there on the Mount Pleasant grounds. So, just to give us an idea of what we can expect for this year, we are being joined by Miss Jean Henry, she's the assistant secretary of the Canby Mount Pleasant. And community council as well as miss ann rollox broom community committee member of the canby mount pleasant community council good morning and welcome to you both how are you doing this morning you're yeah, good yeah, thank you right. good. so we're here once again to talk about the mount pleasant uh games and um the family day for easter monday what can we expect for this year well um this year is our 49th anniversary at the Mount Pleasant Recreation Grounds. Mm -hmm. We have a day packed for um, our spectators. We have our annual goat race. We have novelty events and athletic events. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, everything starts at 11 a.m. Um, the entrance fee to the grounds $100 for the stands, $60 for the adults, for the grounds, $30 for children, to the years, to 11 years, and after 6 p.m., it's $100 across the board. So I'm, expect, I'm, I'm, I'm anticipating that there's something special happening after 6 p.m. on Easter Monday. So tell me about that. Well, well, what can we expect? <laughs> well, we have our after sports show mm -hmm. um our marketing team um, will be here again to advertise and to tell you all about that and to tell you who our artists would be we do not want to disclose it as yet mm -hmm. but we have special artists coming on so you will see miss broom again and her marketing team that will come to tell us all about the um the, the after sports but we also have the bonnet parade which is a really spectacular event mm -hmm. right that comes out on that day well as to the bonnet parade we have um we cater from babes in arm to 12 years for girls only girls this year we have no couples because over the years we have been trying with the couples and like the little boys they are not interested mm -hmm. So we are, we will not be having the couples segment this year. It's a hundred dollars across the board to, to register. Participate. Yes, to participate. We usually have late fees, but no, we have no late fees this year. So you can register on the day. Mm -hmm. All we ask is that you bring a synopsis of what the child will be portraying, mm -hmm. right? And we have very attractive prizes and all the children all the participants will be going home with some sort of a prize or consolation prize even though you didn't make it in the first three you will get something to go home with mm -hmm. we also have our vendors um area and mrs Booms will tell you about that <laughs> all right we had our registration of vendors yesterday mm -hmm. and as we speak, that list is we has we have closed off so far. Mm -hmm. So come on well on the twenty second, the vendors we expecting to get in contact with you all to collect your passes, your vehicular passes and the handbands. So that would be on Friday the twenty second at five PM at the community center. So, I mean, we're expecting a very exciting day this year and on Easter Monday. Yes. Yes. yes and yes. You know, tell me about this. I mean, have you guys been having any challenges and getting it together um, for this year? How has been the planning process like? Well, 
Planning a sports of that magnitude is a lot of work. A lot of work. We started since last year, mm -hmm. right? We, and we go through from October, right, on to Easter. Mm -hmm. Now, next year will be our 50th year. So we'll be having a uh, bumper sports next year. So I'm guessing the planning has already started. That's right. Our, our 50th year, it will be greater. We hope, but we are asking everybody to come out to support because we have any vendors, we have all kind of food that would be there, mm -hmm. right? You can taste some Tobago local food and all of that. So we are asking you to come out, come out and support some of our challenges um we still have some areas to cover with some sponsorship but we will be there we we will get there right we we have some our sponsors and we like to thank them so much for being with us over the years there are some sponsors that they all the time and support us and we like to thank we so much appreciate what they have been doing for us over the years. Definitely. And then what is so special about just the games and the Sports and Family Day at Mount Pleasant? Well, you see, at Mount Pleasant, we cater for the entire family. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, what I observe over the years, well, the sports is as old as I am. Mm -hmm. Over the years, I realized that it's like a reunion. You find that a lot of people come back home for Easter, and the meeting place is at Mount Pleasant. You know, sometimes people who you haven't seen for years, they came in from the States, mm -hmm. from England, from Canada, wherever they are. And, you know, they just want to be at home for Christmas, for Easter. And certainly, yeah. and of course, you get a little bit of the goat racing and all mm -hmm. of that bit of culture. Y yes. yes. And the goat racing, we have... Um, the goat racing team that will be back here also to explain that because we have different categories which people need to understand the A class, the B class races. So the goat owners association, they will be back here with us to enlighten the public on how that goes because you know some people don't understand mm -hmm. how the goat racing goes it's and how they change from one class to the yes. other class. Right, so um, we will be here. We are a little early this year mm -hmm. because we usually be here on the last week, but we are a little early <laughs> this year. So you will see us again, Candice, as we, as the marketing team roll out mm -hmm. our plans because we are moving from forty nine into fifty. So you will see us even earlier next year mm -hmm. to um, highlight our fiftieth anniversary which we know it well, will be great. For next year, it, it is our intention to bring back the road race, mm -hmm. right? Because that would be a signature, signature mm -hmm. event on, for our 50th anniversary. Also, this year for our 49th anniversary, we will have um, one of our, our honorary uh, member is, of course, Miss Jean Scott Henry. <laughs> Every year, we try to honor one of our members, you know, for the, we, you know, we thank them for her, for their dedicated service. And, you know, we just want to say thank you. And this is our way of showing our appreciation to these members for their dedication. And certainly, and she's been one of the persons yes. that's been at the helm, going, ready to go every single year, not giving up. Yes. So you certainly want to thank you for, for, for your service. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. um, another thing, last year we made a little change. Mm -hmm. We started with athletic races, but we find it didn't work as smoothly as how our first year over the, over the years was in honor of Mr. Mount Pleasant. Do you remember mm -hmm. that gentleman? Yes, I do. Right. So we are going to start back. And this is, is, this is the 10th year since he passed. Yeah. So we are going to honor him, race. right, on that, and we are going to make that first race again in honor of him, Mr. Monklin, because he was part of our He was the heart and soul of it. Heart, right. So we are going to honor him. All right. Great. So, you know, as we're getting ready to wrap the conversation this morning, just remind folks about 
where they need to be and what they need to be doing on Easter Monday. Right. Easter Monday, 1st April 2024. All roads lead to the Mount Pleasant Recreation Ground mm -hmm. for the Canby Mount Pleasant Community Council Easter Monday Sports Meeting. So we taking this opportunity to invite each and every one to come and spend the day with us at Mount Pleasant. Mm. All right. Nice and simple. <laughs> All right. I want to thank you both for being on with us. And of course, you'll be hearing more as the days lead up to Easter Monday about what we can, can expect at one of our heralded events for for the whole Easter weekend here in Tobago. We get a bit of good racing and a bit of community culture, community rivalry and togetherness which is what we need definitely within our space right now so thank you so much okay thank you all right viewers so hope you have a safe and wonderful day and we will see you again on tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>